Hello everyone and welcome back to yet another Big Girl video where today our main focus is going to be Cardano. We're going to be talking about what it is, the blockchain platform for change makers, innovators and visionaries with the tools and technologies required to create possibility for the many as well as the few and bring about positive global change. Taking a look at their official website, seeing this article about Cardano developers delay Vassal upgrade citing bugs and what's going on over there. Taking a look at their price on CoinMarketCap as well as the ADA to USDT chart and seeing what the situation over there is. And finally, at the very end of this video, of course, we're going to be taking a look at the BTC to USDT chart, commenting on the situation over there and possibly making a few predictions and warnings. But before I get into this video, guys, a little disclaimer before I start, I'm not a financial advisor and therefore I'm not accountable for any losses that you may make in the crypto or NFT world. So please do your own due diligence. Leave a like, smash that subscribe button and comment down below your favorite thoughts, comments and predictions about this video are down below at the end. And without further ado, we're going to jump right into it, starting off at the Cardano.org, their official website, making the world work better for all. I've already explained to you what they do. Now let's go into detail and see how it's all happening. So the world is changing together. We can change it for the better. Let's take a look at how. Cardano is a proof of stake blockchain platform. It's the first to be founded on peer reviewed research and developed through evidence based methods. It combines pioneering technologies to provide unparalleled security and sustainability to decentralized application systems and societies. And with a leading team of engineers, it exists to redistribute power from unaccountable structures to the margins to individuals and be an enabling for for positive change and progress. So they're really on a good path over here. And let's take a look at some benefits. Cardano restores trust to global systems, creating through science a more secure, transparent and sustainable foundation for individuals to transact and exchange systems to govern and enterprises to grow. So they've thought of everything. And over here we have the proof of stake and Ouroboros, the most environmentally sustainable blockchain protocol. This is the first peer reviewed, verifiably secure blockchain protocol. And Cardano is the first blockchain to implement it, actually. Arbros enable the Cardano network de decentralization and also it is sustainable, uh, sustainably scaled to global requirements without crucially compromising security, which is very important. The protocol is the culmination of tireless effort building on foundational research and is propelled by a vision for more secure and transparent global payment systems and a means to redistribute more fairly power and control. Define your possible, change your world. You can discover more about Cardano and see what they're all about. Over here, you got the people, the purpose, research, technology and opportunity. Each one is in more detail. And finally, if you want to get involved, you can check out all of their socials right over here and see what they're all about. But we're going to move on to something that's uh, happening right now. And that is the Cardano developers delay Vassal upgrade citing bugs. So let's take a look what what is going on here. Seven bugs remained outstanding to completing the hard fork, leading to a delay in the scheduled upgrade. So essentially Cardano's development lab uh, input output IOG did not push out June's 20, uh, June 20th planned Vassal, which is a network upgrade that would increase scaling capabilities on Cardano. And it's now slated for a late June release on testnet. The team said on Tuesday, essentially hard forks refer to a network upgrade that seems blockchain validating and producing new blocks with predetermined new rules in favor of old ones. The IOG engineering team is extremely close to finalizing the core work with just seven bugs still outstanding to complete the hard fork work with none currently ranked as severe as they said the developers. And after some consideration, they have agreed not to send the hard fork update proposal to the testnet today to allow more time for testing. They added so they want to be secure as much as they can. They also said that uh, the few outstanding items were needed to confirm everything was working as expected and that they would need a few more days for it. This puts us behind schedule on our previously communicated target date of June 29th for a mainnet hard fork, they said. And the final decision to hard fork the Cardano testnet will be made in consultation with the ecosystem decentralized application DAP development community. Now, Necessary criteria before pushing the upgrade live would include clearing any critical issues in testing, conducting benchmarking tests for the software and informing the broader developer community to allow sufficient time to retest their dApps before the hard fork, which is logical. 
The delay did not cause any negative sentiment among investors, price data suggests, and Cardano's ADA tokens were up 5.6% in the past 24 hours, whereas the Bitcoins were being outperformed by them on the 3.9% rise. Now, speaking of the price and the Cardano tokens, we're going to take a look at the price on Core Market Cap, where it currently lies at 0.4987 dollars and if we take a look at the chart over here it's currently in the green it's doing pretty well this is a daily time frame but we're gonna go in a bit more detail and take a look at the ADA to USDT chart over here and see that they have been moving pretty good the candles and it's a pretty bullish movement it's going up and it has been somewhere from here as it did kind of it, it was ranging so it's pretty good and now it's just going up. So this part over here, we should definitely keep an eye on. It could potentially go down. Right now we're in the, another blue candle is forming, but we're gonna see uh, what we can expect. And we should definitely keep an eye on this place right over here and see where it's gonna close because it could just spike up or it could possibly as well go down and um, continue ranging. Having said that, we're going to move on to the last piece of business for this video, which is the BTC to USD chart over here. As we can see, it has been spiking up. It's pretty, it's consolidating at the moment as well, and it is moving slightly forward. But Bitcoin these days is very not reliable. So if you do plan on doing anything crypto related and Bitcoin specifically, you should definitely wait and see, uh, wait for some more movements because this could spike down again or it could just keep on moving up which would be beneficial to all but we'll see and it's just not very certain at the moment so i definitely want to see what you guys have to say about this do you think it's going to spike up or go down and how do you think the future of bitcoin is going to look in the near future thank you guys so much for watching this video i really hope you enjoyed it if you did leave a like smash that subscribe button and comment down below your favorite thoughts opinions and predictions about this video are down below and I really hope to see you all in the next video.